So Frankenstein is obviously a very angry, angry, tortured character, but at the end of the day, he kind of just wants somebody to come home to and understand him. So what's it like to play kind of both sides of that coin? Uh, it's interesting because, you know, you're talking about a character, as you say, that was cast out by his father. He's unwanted, feeling unloved. And how can you develop any sense of trust? So he's a monster with trust issues, you know. Um, and then when he is presented with love and a real relationship and a real, um, uh, you know, bond with the community, he doesn't trust it. So he has to work through that. There's a lot of issues in this film that are very human, you know, very... Um, you know, teenage, adolescent, sort of adult, you know, coming, evolving as a human being. And that's what this movie's about, um, finding love. And it's also a lot of action, though, too. How much fun is it to kind of get in there and play with demons and gargoyles? It was unbelievable. Uh, I had to learn the, Cal the Filipino art of Cali stick fighting, you know, because um, through his immortality, um, he has to defend himself um, from evil forces. And so he does that through Cali with two rattan sticks. You know, so basically he's learned to dispose of people, you know, in that way. So that was a lot of fun. I trained for six months, really hardcore, trying to look like I know what I was doing. And um, it was good. Very rewarding, I have to say, in that way. And it, it's also in 3D, so I think people are going to, when they're stick fighting, they're really going to get a sense of the sticks. So it's cool. So this is obviously a very new break, uh, take on Frankenstein. Tell us what it's like to be involved in a fresh story. Oh, it's really exciting. I mean, we're setting up a new mythology. You know, it, it's our own world that we've created here uh, for this movie. It's a different take completely on what people ordinarily think of when they think of Frankenstein. It's not It's not a horror. It's not, you know, back in the 1800s. It's very much a present-day movie. It's an action thriller, and uh, it, it's, it's a new take on the creature of Frankenstein as an action hero. And tell us about your character in the film. I am one of only two humans in the movie, so I, I play uh, Dr. Tara Wade. She's a scientist, an electrophysiologist, and she's researching how to reanimate dead things. And uh, she definitely is very scientifically minded, so when it comes to the myth or the legend of Frankenstein, she doesn't buy into that at all uh, in terms of the idea of that being potentially real. So when she's faced with this creature that is still very much alive and well, I think her world is completely rocked and um, and she gets thrown into this world where the, you know, the goggles and the demons are revealed to her and it's very astounding you know, for someone so scientifically minded. So this isn't the first time you've had a writing of yours brought to the big screen, but what are you most looking forward to seeing uh, from I, Frankenstein in the film? Uh, you know, basically I like the, uh, the gravitas of the character. You know, here you have a, a character created by man, created by God, who basically tries to find his place in the world. You know, he views himself as a uh, monster. So the, uh, the story and context is about him finding his humanity. And I think that will really resonate with audiences. Were you excited when you heard about the casting? How do you how do you feel about Aaron Eckhart in the role? You know, I think he's a uh, he's a prodigious actor, uh, very focused, dedicated. Uh, he really brought a gravitas to the role that I think I don't think we would have had had he not chosen that. You know, so uh, uh, fans are in for a treat. They really are. 